What do I need to know about Zika? That's the most common question many doctors say they're currently being asked. In the wake of warnings over the spread of Zika and its devastating effects on fetuses, here's what you need to know about the virus. How do you get Zika? You may be exposed to Zika if you travel to an area where the virus is circulating, such as South and Central America, or if you've had unprotected sex with a male partner who traveled to such areas. Zika is transmitted by two species of mosquitoes, Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These specific mosquitoes that carry Zika are mostly found in tropical climates, but they can also be found from California to the Gulf Coast and along the eastern seaboard as far north as southern Maine. Zika has not been circulating in the U.S. mainland, but public health experts do expect it to reach the United States. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that pregnant women avoid travel where the Zika virus is spreading. As of June 2016, 60 countries and territories in Africa, the Americas, Asia, and the Pacific report continuing mosquito-borne virus transmission. This includes traveling to Brazil for the 2016 Olympic Games that will be held in Rio. If you are trying to get pregnant, the CDC advises you talk with your doctor before you or your male partner travel to one of these areas. How do I know if I have Zika? Most people infected with Zika actually never develop symptoms, and if you do develop symptoms, they may seem similar to a mild cold or flu, including mild fever, skin rash, conjunctivitis, muscle and joint pain, malaise, or headache. These symptoms normally last for two to seven days. There is currently no vaccine or treatment available. Testing for Zika is recommended for pregnant women who have traveled to locations where Zika is circulating or anyone who has symptoms after travel where Zika is spreading. Testing is also recommended for pregnant women who have had unprotected sex with a man who was exposed to the virus if either he or she has had symptoms. How long does Zika infection last? Men and women both become infectious three to 10 days after exposure to the virus and are infectious for about a week. If you think you may have been infected with Zika, you should wait to conceive. The CDC recommends a woman wait eight weeks as a precaution. Men should wait at least eight weeks to attempt conception if they've been exposed to Zika but have no symptoms, and six months after symptoms appear if they do get sick. I'm pregnant and I'm worried I have Zika. Even if you feel fine, you should ask your OBGYN for a Zika test. Ask as soon as possible because tests can find the virus most easily right after you've been infected. The virus is known to cause birth defects, including microcephaly, an abnormally small head that's associated with brain damage. But the rate at which Zika causes those birth defects and the full range of possible complications are unknown. And because the virus can be spread sexually, officials say pregnant women should practice safe sex or abstain from sex throughout the pregnancy with partners who have traveled to areas where Zika is spreading. How likely is it that my baby will be affected if I am infected with Zika? There's no definitive answer yet on how likely it is your baby would be infected or develop birth defects. One study estimates a pregnant woman infected with Zika in her first trimester faces a risk of between 1% and 13% that her unborn child will develop microcephaly. Another analysis finds a 29% risk that an infection at any point during a pregnancy could result in the development of any of a range of abnormalities. Experts say the risk is likely somewhere in between. Your doctor will closely monitor your baby's development and progress every few weeks during the pregnancy.